in the last episode I made this jar of blue oyster grain spawn and in this episode I'm going to add it to a bulk substrate straw. First we need to sanitize it and hydrate it so I'm going to load it into this plastic tote here. It's going to go everywhere. Added a brick to hold it down. Now I'm going to take some of this slack lime, calcium hydroxide, food grade, and I'm going to add a bit of it to a bucket of water. Give that a stir. Now I've got an alkaline solution, which should be strong enough to kill a lot of the bad stuff. So I just let the bucket settle for a few minutes. Any excess calcium hydroxide should have settled out. Solubility is not that great. I'll just uh, pour this into the straw now. There we are. Got the straw soaking in lime water. I'll just leave it probably for a day or so and then We'll drain that off and see if we can get the mushrooms to. So I'm going to put the straw into some buckets, but before I can do that, I need to drill some holes to provide air exchange and a place for the mushrooms to fruit out of. So I'm just going to go through with my spade bit here. And just pop some holes like that every few inches. All around the bucket. There we are. As you can see, the bucket now has holes all around it. And now I'm going to take my knife and just sort of clean the holes up a little bit, remove a little bit of plastic, probably not extremely necessary, but you know, probably reduce the microplastics I end up consuming. Okay, now that I've got holes in my bucket, I'm going to load in the straw that has been soaked in the lime water and then strained until it no longer drips. I'm just gonna add in some straw and then layer in some of the blue oyster spawn. Like that. And then some more straw. And I'll just repeat that until I filled the bucket. Okay, there's my bucket full. Okay, so here's the buckets. Close up the lid. And I've got them inside of trash bags here. Uh, the temperature in the house is now up high enough that the mushrooms can grow, but the humidity is still too low. So I'm just kind of putting a little bit of a cover on them to keep the humidity up. And I'll just stuff a little bit of batting into the opening to keep it from collapsing. Okay, so I'll just let it sit like that for a couple of weeks. Hopefully they colonize. Unfortunately, the blue oyster straw buckets that I put together on camera did not turn out. They got contaminated. The blue oyster did not colonized the straw fully and started to turn into a smelly rotting mess which I had to throw away. Fortunately I did make another straw bucket using a very similar process but using king oyster and this one did turn out much better. Once the straw was fully colonized after a couple of weeks 
I put the bucket in a trash bin, which I filled up with water, placed a weight on top of it, and let it soak for 12 hours. Then I put the bucket in the entrance of an abandoned mine, so it'd be cool, damp, but also receive a little bit of sunlight. And a month later, I had mushrooms. Okay, so here's that mushroom bucket. I've got mushrooms now. What's interesting is uh, this one appears to have fallen off. Maybe the holes were too small. Hmm. Yep. Let's pick them. Go away. Humongous mushroom, look at that. It's got to weigh over a pound. those in place yeah let's leave those for now actually nah, they're done let's pick them I'll leave uh, these little guys though what if I should put this back on well, good it'll do A plate. Let's see what I got here. Seven hundred and seventy-seven grams. A few grams for the straw. Oh, those are lovely, aren't they? One mushroom, almost a pound. That's crazy. So I was just about to cook these mushrooms, and I noticed this, a maggot crawling on it. If I see one, there's probably more. Well, I found more maggots. Well, I don't think it'll hurt me. Just knock the maggot off and proceed as if I didn't see it. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with leaving the mushrooms to the outdoors. Insects can get to it. I ended up breaking the mushrooms into pieces and making a soup. It was delicious. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.